Have you seen this type of stuff before? Yeah. Where did I put my little... You got it. No, I'll do that in a minute. Yeah, when you're working with, and again, especially with visually impaired, um, I do a lot with a, a, um, a hoop because we automatically think that children have got a reference so a lot of time when we're teaching underarm throwing it's over a bridge or over a rainbow same shape as a rainbow but if a child's never seen a rainbow um, and they don't understand the thing of a bridge the easiest thing i do is just get them to feel the top of the the hoop so they guide the hand over the top of the hoop they feel that that's the trajectory and then they understand knees to trees is going to give that one if we're going for an overarm throw um, i start off um, we talk about eyes to sky, so the reference point is the eye, um, and then up to the sky with a lot of the children. A lot of the time when I'm teaching it in tennis, I might start with the ear um, and do the bolt. But, um, but with the children, when we're not talking tennis sort of thing, we go eyes to sky, and again, they understand that. Um, and again, with someone who's, um, who's blind, what I tend to do, we'll put a target up so that they can feel that that's where they're aiming for. So as long as they can feel that that's where they're letting go of the ball, then that's the reference point. It doesn't really matter anything else. We can then work on the distance later on. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna work um, with your, I'm gonna pick on Dan, just cause I couldn't get the tail off him. How about that one? So Dan, you're gonna turn around. So you know, all I'm going to do is throw my little flying fish over the top of his head and he's gonna try and catch it. Okay, you ready, Dan? Now. Oh. And then he passes it back, and then he has another go. Are you ready? Now. And again, you can get the children, yes. You can get the children to say when they're releasing it, you can do no releasing. They can throw it with an overarm, with an underarm. The children absolutely love this one, okay? So, or you can do it whether Dan's facing, sorry, face that way. You turn round. And then as soon as he turns around, I'll throw, the, throw it. And again, it's working on reaction. But because this is light enough, slow enough, and colour, the children are really successful with it. OK, so have a go at one of those, or all of them. Thank you, Dan. you're going to have a catching net because you're struggling okay and the children absolutely love having a catching net to try in okay Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will have yeah, to yeah, code. cool. Obviously, yeah, yeah. As long as I can. Yeah, yeah. I really want to see them. Yeah, yeah, no. We've got a business card over there if you want to pick one of those and then. Okay, stop there! So, if you want to bring the catching nets in, um, we're going to change to tap hands, I think.